What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're going to be covering dependency injection. Just give you a brief overview of exactly what it is and um, how and why we're going to be using it. So let's go ahead and jump into our starter project. If you would like the starter project, check the link in the description to download it. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is all we have in our starter project is just this some service because usually when people are talking about dependency injection, what you usually have is somebody that's talking about um, pretty much, you know, uh, passing around a singleton or um, accessing like some type of like a manager, a helper or some type of service right through usually like a singleton. And um, dependency injection can actually be done with anything. And you probably used it if you're, you know, passing data between segues. That's technically dependency injection. Uh, people just don't talk about it in that way. Anyway, uh, so this is going to be our service that we're going to be using for dependency injection um, to simulate, you know, what you would do in these cases. So what we usually have, um, if you're not using dependency injection, is singletons. And I love singletons, but people hate singletons. And it, the, people usually hate, I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, people usually hate singletons. Uh, developers hate singletons quite simply because um, they are not testable. They're not easy to test. And then you're also working with shared mutable state most of the times, which means that if something changes unexpectedly, it could cause bugs. But I mean, that's just, that's if, that's if that happens. I mean, sh I use a lot of singletons and that never happens to me. Anyway, um, and I'm moving towards dependency injection, so don't worry. Anyway, um, as you can see, all we have is this blue screen and in our view did load, we're calling this some service dot share dot do stuff uh, through a singleton and all it does is prints out did stuff. So this would be considered bad by most developers. So what we actually um, wanna do is we want to change this by having, um, having access to our service through dependency injection. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and comment this out. And what we wanna do is we just want to have a variable. Now this is going to be um, considered property um, injection. Um, like I said, this is something that you probably have already done if you ever pass data from one um, view controller to another view controller using segues, but, uh, and it's essentially the same exact uh, concept. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna just put um, uh, a variable called sum service, right? And it's going to be uh, of type sum service, right? And what that will do, or what we need to do is we also will make it optional. And what that will do is it'll make it so that we can pass our sum service, whatever it is, our manager, our helper, our service into this variable um, and use it this way. So we'd be able to say some service and I'll put it below this comment and we'd be able to say some service dot do stuff. So this would be a better way of approaching it. This would be um, property injection. And what this is going to do is we're going to essentially receive some service from somewhere else outside of this view controller. And all this view controller is going to do is just know, hey, I have some service and I can use it. That's all it does. It, and that's all it knows. So in order to use this through storyboards, which um, I think that's a why I think that's why a lot of um, junior developers generally don't use dependency injection is just because it's kind of weird with storyboards. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use it with storyboards first and then I'll show you how to do it programmatically as well. So what we wanna do is in our app delegate, we wanna go over to our did finish launching with options. And what we have to do is we have to say, if let, um, we'll just say view controller, view controller is equal to our window dot root view controller as our view controller class. Then what we can do is now that we have access to our view controller class and our view controller class has access to um, or has a property called some service, what we can do is we can actually pass in our, um, our service. So what we can do is we can say some service is equal to, and then this is where we would actually use maybe that singleton and we'd only use it right here and only right here for the very first time and only time. So we would say let some service 
is equal to some service. No, not like that. Come on, Kyle. What the hell? Some service dot shared dot uh, yeah dot shared, and then we'll just pass it in like so. So now, as you can see, we're passing it in. We're not creating it in our view controller. We're not using that singleton anymore, and we're actually accessing um, our sum service through this property right here. So if we go ahead and run this, and it pops back up, you see that did stuff is still running. So that's um, how you would essentially use dependency injection with storyboards anytime that you're going to be needing to use whatever type of service manager or helper, whatever the hell you're using, um, all you need to do is pass it in through a property. Now, um, this is a great way to do dependency injection, especially with storyboards, but this isn't the ideal way of doing dependency injection. Now, um, the ideal way of doing dependency injection, you kind of have to use um, the programmatic style. You have to use a programmatic approach, like you have to do everything programmatically. And I think that's kind of what deters everybody. So if you if you like using storyboards, essentially this is all you really have to do. You just have to pass it into a variable. You're set, you're good to go. Um, but if if you want to do it the right way and the, the cleanest way, um, and I mean, this, is, this isn't the wrong way, it's just, um, you know, it's not ideal because what you have is you still have this, uh, it's optional, right? You're still working with an optional uh, property, you know, which, you know, sometimes we want, but for the most part, wouldn't it be better if this wasn't optional and we were just completely given this object? Like it would be a lot better feels that way, right? So in order to make it so that this doesn't have to be optional, what we would do is we would have to actually create an initializer. So we would create an initializer and we would say um, this, our, our view controller needs to take in some service, you know, some service, which is going to obviously be of type some service, right? And then we would just say self dot some service is equal to the some service that's being passed in to our initializer. And then we would also have to say super dot init and we would do uh, this one which we're just gonna pass in nil right here and nil right here. And then you'll also see, since you are doing an initializer on a view controller, what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're doing that required one. And damn, this makes your code look ugly. You hate it. You're like, oh no, I hate when this happens. Yeah, but you have to do it. So um, this, what this does is it allows us to actually turn off this optional because now what we're doing is we're initializing this view controller with this initializer, we have to initialize it with this initializer, and we're obviously setting some service uh, through the initializer. So now we no longer need to, you know, force unwrap it or make it optional, and it looks actually extremely clean. And now we could just do stuff like this, right? So that's really, really awesome, and it's really, really clean, with the exception of this part, because this part's just pure ugly. So what we're gonna do in order to make this work. Because if we were to run this, you'll see that since we are using the storyboard, it's actually gonna initialize through a coder and we're gonna hit this fatal error, which is very bad and it kinda sucks. So what we have to do is we have to act like we're programmatic developers. For those of you that are programmatic developers, then you already know what to do right here. But anyways, for those of you that don't, what we have to do is we have to go to our project um, file right here. We have to remove the main interface like so. And what we have to do is we also have to go over to our app delegate. Now, um, this code uh, will actually no longer work because there is no initial view controller. So let's go ahead and run that so I can prove it to you since y'all think I'm a liar. And as you can see, black. Ugh, that's not good. Oh my God. So what we got to do is um, I'm going to just go ahead and put a comment next to this. And this is going to be... Um, with storyboards, right? With storyboards. And then, um, you know, since this is obviously going to fail, what we would do is we would just create our view controller instead of initializing it from the root view controller, which uh, Xcode essentially does for us in this file if you had the, the um, main storyboard set. Uh, what we have to do is we have to initialize the view controller the proper way, the way that we just created. So view controller is equal to 
view controller and then we initialize it with our initializer by passing in some service. So we would say, once again, this line right here, let's go ahead and copy that because your boys are kind of a slow typer. And we're just gonna pass in some service like so. And as a matter of fact, that ain't dry, Kyle. So let's not be all nasty and wet, shall we? Mm, wet. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some service up here so that everything's a little bit cleaner. And now, as you can see, what we're doing is we're initializing view controller with the sum service, the one that we just created. All right, so then what we have to do is we have to make that window, and we're gonna do window is equal to that UI window. We're gonna initialize this bad boy with the UI screen dot main dot bounds. And then from here, we just say window.root is equal to that view controller that we just made. Oh, yes. And then we just make sure that our window is making key and visible like so. Alrighty, now that it's a uh, key and visible, we just need to say self.window. We got to set that window, make sure that we always got that window. And we're going to run this. And what we're going to do is we are going to have did stuff, but we still got that black background. I just want to make sure that we're doing it right. So what your boy's going to do is I'm going to say view that background color is red inside of our initializer just to make sure that we're doing it the way that I think that we're doing it. All right. So we're going to run it again. And oh, what do you know? It's a red background. So that's dependency injection, guys. In a nutshell, all it is is that you're passing these properties or your, your data, you're using your service, or your manager or whatever, you're just passing it in either through a property or through an initializer. And the initializer is the ideal way of doing it. And then you just have access to all of your um, yeah, all of your services. So whenever you are, you know, initializing a new view controller, like let's like say if we had a second VC, let's go ahead and do that real quick. If we had um, a class and this was second, second VC, and it was of type UI view controller, and we wanted to initialize this one also with some service then it would be obviously of type some service and then we would also have some service up here it would be a let some service and that's the other thing i forgot to mention that it can be a let since it is an initializer too so that's also the the awesome thing about it is that it can't be changed so we can do some service let's some some service what service like so which is a type of some service like so. And then we say self dot some service like so is equal to some service like so. And then we say super dot init like so. We pass that nil like so. And if we wanted to open up the next view controller and we have to add in that ugliness, you know, the required one. And then we have to just say, we would say present um, the view controller that we want to present, which would be let second VC equals second VC. No, not like that. Come on. Come on. We're going to go ahead and initialize it with our sum service. And then since we have this sum service right here, we'll be able to pass it easily every time because now it's already part of our first view controller. So once we have it in there, it's very easy to pass it and we can you know, present our second VC, um, animated, true, uh, completion, nah, I'm all right. And what we wanna do is we just wanna make sure that this is tripping out. I need, I need to fix it, we'll fix it. It might be tripping out, there it goes. Weirdness, weirded tease. And then we'll just say um, self dot, or we'll say view dot background, background color is equal to dot green. So we may or may not see a flash of red when we run this, but um, overall we should see green. And all right, oh, 
we did it a little bit too early. We're still doing this in the view to load, but let's just go ahead and put that in a view. A view did appear, shall we? View did appear. Animate it like so. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut this crap right there, right there, right there. Cut it, paste it. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. And we're just gonna go ahead and run this one more time after the view did appear. And let's see what happens. Flash of red, green. And we get another error because I didn't say super. Oh my God. Kyle, you're going way too crazy, man. You're going way too crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, it's going to work this time for sure. All right, so let's see red and then green. Yes, so we did stuff. So as you can see, we're able to initialize this. And then um, once again, if we had some type of function, do stuff to we would also be able to, you know, access our sum service and do stuff. So, so as you can see, that's all dependency injection really is. It's just pretty much passing your service from one place to another, making it easy to access, and then you're not using singletons, which everybody hates apparently. All right, guys, so that's gonna be all. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you share it, and then, um, yeah, we're gonna be putting out all kinds of awesome videos, mainly gonna be focusing on things like this, you know, a little bit more intermediate to advanced topics. And, uh, you know, you know, maybe, maybe hit up that core data coming soon, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's enough. And I'm just gonna say, you know what? Go out there and keep coding passionately. Later.